Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. The model is a 14 ITL6. And in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM and what's the maximum RAM capacity that you can have in here. And the instructions on the website said that you can up to up 8 gig or 16 I believe. But I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. And it's really easy, you can do this at home with no problem. All right, I'm gonna go over the tools that I'm gonna be using. It's an, a screwdriver set, it's an iFixit screwdriver set. These are really good screwdrivers. These are made out of S2 class steel bit. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this set, we're gonna start it. We're gonna power off the laptop completely. And next you want to flip it upside down and on the bottom side of the laptop you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height so we're going to start from one corner. We're going to remove all of them and leave them in one pile. Don't worry about mismatching them. Also if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now all you need to do is to grab the opening tool and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like that. All you need to do is twist it outward and you want to hear a few clicks. That's what you want to hear. You want to work yourself around. Go in the front end of the laptop. You're not scratching or damaging. You want to hear a few clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all around. Go to the left side. And there we go. Once you did the front and the side, you can do the back end too by sticking the opening tool right at the back side right here on the bottom. Or you can just open it up. If they're really soft, it will come up pretty easy. And there we have it. That's the bottom case. And the ramp right here will be right in the middle. It's right under this aluminum cube box right in there. Also, you, to upgrade the RAM, you do not need to remove the battery for the laptop. It's absolutely not necessary, but if you do want to remove it, you just have to pull these cables backward and the battery will get disconnected. And when you want to put it back together, just slide it back in. But to do the upgrade, you don't need to, but if you're a little flimsy and you move stuff around, sure, go ahead, just pull the cable. It's really soft contact. Nothing's going to happen to the cable. Just disconnect. Next, all you need to do is Grab this cover and lift it up, bring it up from side to side. Has a little clips that are holding it. There we go. These clips right in here one, two, three, four. These are like kind of clips, just goes around it, it just pinches together. So it keeps it in, in place. You want to remove the cover and the RAM is right underneath that. There's only one RAM DIMM available, there's no two RAM DIMMs, so you can put a 16 gig DIMM in here. These are DDR4 RAM. To remove the RAM, it's really simple. All you need to do is to pull these two triggers that beside the RAM away from each other and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab it in the same 45 degree and pull it out in the same direction. Do not yank it towards the ceiling, otherwise you're going to break the dim or the RAM. So slide it out. And again, this is a 4 gig, so you can put an 8 gig or you can put a 16 gig DDR4 RAM. This is a 3200. And that will be fine. If you get the new RAM, you just bring, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. If you try to put it in the other way around, it will not go through. So make sure the notch matches. Bring it down in 45 degree, all the way in. And then simply you want to push it towards the motherboard. And you want to hear these two triggers clicking. Just like that. Remove. Pull them away. Push back there. And once you did that, just grab the cover. Make sure... It goes aligns with these clips right in there, align them, and then just press it down and it goes in place. And the last thing would be to just grab the connector for the battery and it slide it right in place. Once you got that, now the last thing would be to just grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, push the corners down. You want to hear those click sounds, press it back. And the last thing down here would be to just put the bottom screws all over the place. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like. And if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.
just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.